depression, that's what many thought I had. To the outside world, I still looked like the cheery young woman I always was, but to me, I was cold. I did not see the positives in anything I did. I continued to walk around like this, hiding behind my powdered face of foundation. It was as if my matte concealer was the foundation to my whole mess, making sure everything looked flawless, but behind the glass and foundation was feelings being painted by makeup brushes. I'll never forget the day it started. The teacher began to speak about midterms. I had not been doing the greatest in the class and thought, this is where my academic success ends. In those moments of tears and confusion, I realized I needed help. It no longer was something I could hide with makeup. The waterproof mascara ran down my face. The foundation that is supposed to protect your blemishes opened a gate, the gate of no longer being able to deal with things. From that day on, I began to receive help. On the first day of counseling, I realized that this problem shall pass. In counseling, my psychiatrist spoke about taking things one step at a time. She explained to me that anxiety will come, but it is best to learn how to cope with it. But there is a way to learn to deal with the things happening around. In being able to talk to her, my so-called depression faded. I no longer saw the world as a dark place, but saw it as a place I will one day be able to live comfortably in. Still to this day, I keep things in. I am far from being cured. In my times of seclusion and quietness, I learned I was only harming myself and not prospering on the many blessings that were offered to me. I missed out on conversations, events, and the simple moments of just enjoying another person's presence. So to that girl in her room with the darkest shade of foundation, the blackest eyeshadow, the highest dose of waterproof mascara, the bloodiest red lipstick to cover the feelings she holds so dearly to her heart that has fully broken, it is time to grab the washcloth and wipe because the makeup comes off at one point and someone will see the scars you have. It's time to leave those words unsaid and grab the mic so you can share the many thoughts that flow through your head.